everyone, and welcome to this episode of Arizona Backyard Naturalist. I'm your host, Jenny Ushery, an Arizona Master Naturalist intern from the Maricopa County Parks chapter. That's right, we have a new name as of this week. I live on the foothills of South Mountain in suburban Phoenix, Arizona, and every week I take a look to see what's happening in my own backyard and give tips and tricks to help other backyard naturalists in the area identify and learn more about the local environment. This week's episode of Backyard Naturalist is a plant episode. We'll be talking about a tree that you've probably seen in your neighborhood and quite possibly even on your barbecue, the glorious mesquite tree. Um, mesquite is the general name for a variety of species of trees in the genus Prosopis. There are several different varieties of the mesquite tree, so the exact species that you have in your neighborhood will take a little investigation on your part. Um, the honey mesquite, velvet mesquite, and screwbean mesquite um, are indigenous to this area of the Sonoran Desert, but there are many other species of mesquite that originated elsewhere in the world that grow very well here. Um, mesquite are considered an invasive species in many parts of the world. They are extremely hardy, they grow fairly quickly, and they can come back from being fully chopped down. If you want to get rid of a mesquite tree, you have to dig up a significant portion of its taproot, um, which can be very long. The longest on record are about 200 feet long, so good luck with that. Um, in addition to the taproot, which gives the tree access to deep water during times of drought, Mesquite trees also have a network of shallow roots that allow them to access rainwater when available. Um, mesquite is a legume in the same family as peas and beans. Um, when fully grown, most varieties of the mesquite tree reach 20 to 30 feet with a canopy that provides kind of dappled to full shade depending on the density of that particular tree's leaves. Um, the leaves themselves are really interesting. They're bipinnate, which means that each um, pair of leaflets, as you can see here, are arranged along a central axis like a feather and compound, which means that they have several of these axes coming off um, a single stem. Many mesquite have leaves year-round, uh, but they're technically deciduous and they can drop their leaves during times of drought and also when it's excessively cold. Um, mesquite serve a really important purpose in the ecosystem of the Sonoran Desert. <clears throat> um, first, their bean pods, as you can see here, those are edible and they can be ground up into flour. Mesquite pods were an important food source for the indigenous people of what is now called Central Arizona. Um, mesquite trees also frequently serve as nurse plants for species that need a little protection as they begin to grow, um, among them the saguaro cactus. And perhaps most importantly, mesquite trees are one of the very few plants in the Sonoran Desert that fix nitrogen into the soil. This means that they have the ability to convert nitrogen in the air into the type of nitrogen that stays fixed in the soil and can be used by other plants. Um, mesquite trees and other legumes have a symbiotic relationship with the type of bacteria um, that lives in their roots. This bacteria is actually the organism that's responsible for this conversion of nitrogen. Um, so the next time you take a stroll in your neighborhood, keep an eye out for the mesquite tree. Um, if you're able to find a seed pod and take a picture, that's usually the easiest way to identify the species of mesquite. For more information on mesquite trees, you can visit any of these sites, which are also linked below in the info box. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Arizona Backyard Naturalist.